Welcome to the warm-up. I'm Matt Finkel and I'm at Lima Senior High School, joined by the Spartans head coach, Mike Fell. Mike, thanks for letting us come out. Last season, this team took Lima by storm. Everybody was interested, and as they should have been, 8-0 no start, best start in school history. Made it to the playoffs for the first time since 2000. What do you take away from last year? Such a positive season, but I don't think it ended on quite the note you were looking for. Yeah, last year, you know, we were we were rock stars for three months. I mean, we had great preseason, you know, summer. We won those eight games, and then we basically had two bad weeks, and uh, that was the end of our season. So, you know, it was a frustrating way to end what was just an outstanding season for Lima Senior Football, but, you know, we learned from it. Do you think the competition got better as you went later in the season, or did your guys get tired? What do you th If you had to pinpoint a reason maybe a combination, what do you think went down? Sure, it was a combination. I mean, the two teams we played at the end were the two best teams in our league, and then you get in the playoffs and everybody's gonna be good. But we weren't playing our best. You know, I, I really think last year we peaked kind of week six against Finley. And, uh, you know, we do real well when it's warm weather and when things are going well, you know, and then you get, get colder and stuff. You know, we, we've got to find a way to uh, battle that. We've got some warm weather now in training camp. How's it going so far? Pretty early on, but I bet you have a pretty good idea of, of where your guys are at. Yeah, we've got, we've got a lot of guys back on skill guys. We're um, developing an offensive line. Jason Wright's our offensive line coach. And, you know, we've taken five good athletes. And, you know, we got about five, seven guys right now. And we're trying to find the top five to help out on the offensive line. Defensively, Coach Frank Crea is our defensive coordinator. And, you know, we got six starters back on the defensive side. We've got some really good athletes over there. And, you know, what we like to do is get to the football. And so we need to find 11 guys that will get to the football and play with kind of a mean edge on them. Are you focused more on the offense or the defense right now? Because the offense was so prolific and, a lot of, like you said, a lot of the guys are returning. Defense maybe could have improved at some points, but it did get better as the season went along. Where's your main focus right now? Yeah, you know, main focus is make sure everybody gets here yeah. <laughs> and have practice. Right. Um, no, Once they're I, here, what are yeah, we working on? Yeah, you know, we uh, – I'm the offensive side and okay. creates the defensive side. So, you know, every day we come in and we compare notes and see how it's going. You know, it, we do some things together against each other, a little seven on seven and, and things like that. And, you know, right now, it, you, hopefully the defense is ahead of the offense, but we're, we're pretty good when we throw the football. So, you know, we're, we just want to make sure. The big thing right now is getting young men in the right places. You know, you got to get them in the correct position that they can help you the best. Now, we have a lot of athletes. But where we got to play them, that's what we got to do, and especially on the defensive side. Let's talk about a couple of those athletes. Ruben Flowers returning. He's committed to play at Pitt. Got Rico Stafford, Darius Gordon. The quarterback is back. Janiel Lyles graduated. So who's going to be running the ball? Yeah, you know, that that wide receiving core, yeah, and you got DeMonte Lyles in there that will be a four-year starter. All right, we got, right now we got three running backs. Two of them, I think, are our starting defensive backs, um, Jaden Walker and B.J. Mays. Those two young men both ran sub-11 flat 100 meters last year. I remember year in track. In yeah. track, and they went to the state track meet. And uh, those cats could both fly, and they've been running backs their whole life. So, you know, we made them corners because we had Janiel. So they, they know what they're doing there. I, I'm not worried at all about our, our running backs that way. And, you know, we got another young receiver, Keaton Upshaw, is a 6'6 sophomore that reminds you of Rico and Ruben. You know, so we got some skill guys. Some of the guys on this team played on the basketball team, had a lot of success, and then at track, they were, they were stars, a lot of them. What do you think that does? And then, of course, piggybacking that off what they did in the football season, these guys must have a lot of confidence. Do you see that out here? Yeah, we don't lack confidence. <laughs> um, you know, that's, that's something our, our guys are, are pretty confident, in, and rightfully so. You know, the big thing we got to do is how do they handle the success that way, and will they come out and work? Well, you know, if the first three or four days of practice are any indication, they're coming out to work. You know, our defensive side of the football is where, you know, these guys have got to get that confidence going. And, you know, we've got some great leadership over there. Two of our captains, Jay Thomas and EJ Smart, which you guys will talk to later. You know, they're, they're really working with these guys and trying to get them motivated to, know, to get the job done. Some news in Lima recently that the city and the school board announced that there's going to be a new park in and around Spartan Stadium. What do you think that does for Lima senior football? And they had the ribbon cutting ceremony, kind of an exciting time. Yeah, you know, that, that kind of stuff is very cool for, for Lima. You know, that's, you know, since we've been here, you know, this is our third year going in. You know, we had the new stadium. We got the new stadium going in this year. You know, we got a brand new scoreboard, a huge scoreboard coming in that's been donated by, you know, five, five groups that have put in a ton of money for that. And then next year, you know, you get the, the, the new park that way, which is, you know, when I came back, that was kind of my goal to make Lima relevant, make Lima Senior relevant that way. And, you know, 
And the only way you do that is by having success. And I think because, you know, we've, we've won some games and we've kind of got things going on a roll that way, you know, it, it, it makes you feel good as a coach. But it, more importantly, it makes these young men feel good, it makes them feel proud to be a part of Lima, to be a part of Lima Senior. You know, they can walk with their heads higher and stuff. And that, that's the goal of, you know, what we're trying to do as football coaches and educators is get these young men to be proud of themselves and handle themselves in the right way in school, on the football field, and in the public. Yeah, definitely trending in the right direction here. And you look to continue that against Middletown week one on the road. Between now and then, what needs to happen? You know, Middletown, we got, first we've got to find out how they, how they are. I know I've always compared Middletown to Lima. You know, I think they have the same type of athletes. It's the same kind of town. It's going through the same kind of troubles we've had in the past. So you know they're going to be an excellent group of athletes. This is their coach's second year, and, you know, they were four and six last year. But they've got three or four Division One athletes on that football team, and it, I'm sure they're going in the right direction. They had four close losses last year, so it's going to be a it's going to be a tough football game for us. We're going down on a Saturday night. Um, we got a couple charter buses, which kids will be excited about. We want to get a good crowd down there. We're in the Crosstown Showdown, which is what they have in Cincinnati, and we're a part of that. So you know, we know Middletown will be jacked up, and we'll be jacked up. And then you, uh, before you get into track play, you got Marion Harden at home, and then at Piqua. So a couple more challenging games. And then, of course, in the league, it's, it's a grind week in and week out. What do you like about playing in the track? It seems like it's, you know, some bigger schools really challenging your, te your, your guys. Well, you know, that, that Marion Harding, they're, they're a young team that's just starting to get better. And pick what Bill Neese does an excellent job. They're a former state champ. So those are good non-league games. And then we're going to end up, we're going to start out and play Toledo Whitmer week four, which is great because we've always played them week ten. At the end, right? You know, so now we get a chance to play them week four and when it's sun shining and we get out there and do do a little thing see a little bit more of our offense that way and then fremont ross who made the playoffs last year's week five so our first five games are going to be very tough but then you get down to uh, toledo central catholic toledo st john's finley those teams they're all you know they're solid finley's a division one team toledo central catholic state champs right. you know so it's fun to be in this league but you got to come to play every week expectations are certainly high around here what are the goals for this team is a deep playoff run seems like a possibility. Is that on your mind at this point? You know, we've, we've kind of turned things around, you know, because we wanted to make the playoffs, you know, and we made it, and, and you know, we've got to have more success in the playoffs. But, you know, no team in Lima Senior history, any sport, has ever won the track. And uh, that's our number one goal. We want to be the track champs. Well, best of luck. Thanks for letting us come out and talk to you about the upcoming season. We're looking forward to covering the Spartans a number of times on the West Ohio Sports Network. It's time for a break here on the warm-up. When we come back, Mark Kunch is going to talk to some of the Spartan captains. Welcome back to the warm-up. I'm Mark Kutz. As we continue talking, Spartan football joined by three of Lima Seniors captains this year. As we've got Jay Thomas, Demonte Lyles, and Darius Gordon down on the end. Darius, quarterback, last year a great year. I think surprised some folks. Are you more comfortable now as the quarterback of the Spartan team? Yeah, I'm more comfortable. I mean, it took me a lot of time to get all the plugs and stuff right. But with the other players that we had before I came, they had made me more comfortable, made me feel like I was at home. DeMonte, is this offense a wide receiver's dream to play in? Yes, it's like lovely. It, um, it's, it's great. Um, Darius getting the ball out there, just scoring touchdowns, getting a lot of points up. Jay Thomas, you're a linebacker, defensive side of the ball. How much is the defense looking to improve themselves from last year? I, I'm sure the, the way the last year ended, the last three games, Defense didn't like the way they were playing. I know you guys got worn down defensively towards the end of last season. How, how much emphasis are you guys putting on the D this year? Uh, well, we lost a lot of our seniors last year, so we, uh, we got some underclassmen coming up. And um, we, we our uh, seniors are counting on them to do what they do. We're going to push them in practice and uh, hopefully get to where we the point we were at last year. And uh, we'll go from there. Jay, when you look back on last year, do you remember the 8-0 start or the 0-3 finish? Really that, the 0-3 finish. I really, uh, we, we're trying to uh, make that, get that, get better at that and try, try not to have that again. DeMonte, you guys ended that playoff drought last season. Tough loss to Harrison in week 11. 
Was that a taste? Does that leave you guys hungry for more postseason success? Yes, that left us hungry. Everybody was um, kind of sad that we let our seniors go out like that. And we um, trying to work hard at practice every day just to get back to that point and go farther in the um, playoffs. Darius, a couple weeks for the opener against Middletown. What, uh, what do you guys need to work on the most between now and week one? Uh, what we need to work on the most, I say pushing each other, finishing the fourth quarter, because it felt like last year against the last playoff game, it was more mental, it was mental weakness, and we just gave up at the end because we thought we already had it won at halftime. So I said we had to finish. All right, we're going to take a timeout here on the warm-up when we come back. More from Lima Senior from WOSN. We return on the warm-up to Lima Senior with Ruben Flowers and EJ Smart. And Ruben, even butterflies want to get a piece <laughs> of you. EJ Smart, nose tackle, Ruben Flowers, all-state wide receiver. Let's start off with you, Ruben. Future Pitt Panther made the decision over the summer to verbal to Pitt. Talk about uh, your decision to go to Pittsburgh and why uh, you're going to be off in the ACC next year. Um, well, my decision um, to go to Pitt was basically best on my comfort level, my family, and like distance. Um, when I went into my recruitment, I was just trying to find a place to, to really fit me. And then, like, as you get older and progress, you, you get into deeper things than that. So, um, you know, I'm real com I was real comfortable at Pitt. I love the coaching staff. Me and Coach Pat Narduzzi, which is the head coach, really had a connection. And re the rest of the coaching staff, too. Fans are unbelievable. And, you know, we're practicing next to the Pittsburgh Steelers. You're watching the best. So you see what they did to get there. So now you can get there. EJ, we talked a little bit to, with Jay about the, the defense. Uh, your thoughts on what this defense is going to be like this year for Lima Senior? It's going to be a lot better um, working on communication and working hard in the weight room, things like that. When you look at the track, we know how loaded that division, that league is top to bottom. And it's got a reputation as being an offensive division. As the defensive Lima Senior, you guys take a little offense at that and want to start showing what you guys can do defensively? Yes, stepping up. Ruben, big year for you last year. First team All State. You got Darius Gordon back at quarterback. You've got uh, Rico Stafford, Demonte Lyles along with you in that receiving core. What's the what's the, is the sky the limit on this offense this year? Uh, yeah, you know, um, the off season. Everybody was in the weight room. Everybody was doing good. Everybody was doing what they were supposed to do. Um, individual workouts, you know, workouts for what you what you didn't even have to participate in. And you know, er everyone everyone got better over the summer. So you know, we're coming in. You know, we have, a, we have a great receiver core, we have a great quarterback, and we have a great offensive line. So, you know, everything's just going to fall in line. You mentioned the line, you mentioned the quarterback, you mentioned the receiver. The question, though, is running back position at this point. What do you think the, the, that's going to shape out at? <laughs> um, well, we have, two, we have two great athletes, uh, B.J. Mays and Jada Walker. Well, I'm not going to say this, but they're, not, they're the two fastest on the team. They're the two fastest on the team. So, <laughs> <laughs> you know, um, a lot of speed, a lot of agility. You know, we're just going to see how it goes out. All right, Lima Senior Spartans uh, open up against Middletown, as we mentioned. Several Spartan games on WOSN coming up this year, including the Marion Harding, Whitmer, Fremont Ross, and a Finley contest. That's going to do it for us tonight on the warm-up. I want to thank all of our guests, including head coach Mike Fell, Ruben Flowers, EJ Smart, Jay Thomas, Devante Lyles, and Darius Gordon. For Matt Finkel, I'm Mark Coons. We'll see you next time on WOSN. Go Spartans.